Good morning. This is your media report for Wednesday, February 1st, 2017. I'm Sergeant Chuck Bree, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, St. John Police have responded to 82 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email, police at stjohn.ca. Or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. On Tuesday morning, St. John Police responded to three calls of theft from parked vehicles which occurred during the evening. They occurred on Dufferin Row, City Line and Westminster Court. Numerous items were taken from the vehicles. Police are requesting that when leaving your vehicles for the night, to please remove all valuables and to ensure the vehicle is locked. At 9.30 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a theft of a vehicle from Orange Street. Officers spoke to the caller who advised that he had parked his 2006 Silver Ford Explorer in his driveway last night, and when he went to the vehicle this morning, it was gone. The vehicle is New Brunswick license number GOX677. This matter is under investigation by the St. John Police Major Crime Unit. The vehicle was located by the RCMP later on Tuesday afternoon and returned to the owner. At 11.28 a.m., St. John Police responded to the Par Town Centre on Carlton Street for a call of a parole violation. Responding officers were advised by staff that a warrant for a suspension of parole for one of the residents had been issued. As a result, police arrested a 26-year-old male for a violation of his parole. He was turned over to the Sheriff's Department, who transported the male to a federal correctional centre. On Tuesday afternoon at 3.55 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a motor vehicle accident and a break and enter into a residence on Douglas Avenue. Officers were advised that six deer had crossed the road in front of oncoming traffic. One of the deer had been struck by a vehicle, however was able to run away. The deer continued on and in his panic jumped through the front window of a house and entered the residence. The deer was able to get out of the house prior to police arrival and fled the scene on foot. No items were taken from the house by the deer. The injured deer was not located. This will conclude the media report for Wednesday, February 1st, 2017. Have a great day, and remember, let's be careful out there.